Reds riding high after last night's two to one come from behind win over the Brewers. They're in St. Louis. I tell you, the beer is cold, but the people don't like this. It's about 38 degrees at game time. Daryl Kyle. Cold <laughs> weather, tough to get a grip. Check out these. Ooh, ah. Looking curveball, get the fastball on the inside corner. Tell you, nasty two pitches. Here we go, Boone in the fourth. Oh, Tino Martinez with a nice play. Daryl Kyle in the cold, the no-no through five. Bottom six, bagels are on the board. Albert Pujols, cream cheese. Solo shot, cards up one zip. That was Albert Pujols' sixth home run of the season. He also had a double in this game. In the seventh, the Reds got them all loaded up. Kyle, Jason LaRue, you can't do that with the bases loaded. Austin Kern scores from third, tied at one. Bottom seven, still very much undecided. Scott Sullivan with a man on first and second. Fernando Vigna to right. Deep enough that the sack fly would put the Cardinals up by a score of two to one. Carrier Robinson flies in from third. Top of the ninth, Booney. Uh oh. Underneath it, Vigna's at second. And look out, lo and behold, the Cardinals are, are right back into this thing. Three to one, your final score. Only two hits for the Cincinnati Reds. Darrell Kyle's strongest outing. Seven innings, two hits and one earned run. Elmer Descends gave up only an earned run in six. A very good start for him. Austin Kearns, one for three with a walk. He's got an on-base percentage, fellas, over 520. One for three, and his average goes down. Mike, you're a weather expert, right? Now, in this kind of weather, is it easier for Darrell Kyle to freeze those hitters with that breaking ball? Good one. I like it. I like it. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Riho, and he delivers, building their first place lead back up to five games as he helps pound the Cardinals today. Let's go to St. Louis. The Reds strike in the second. Juan Encarnacion ends his one for 17 slump, connects off Matt Morris, two run homer to left field, his 10th this season. Reds up two to nothing. Now Todd Walker with the slice to the left. That scores Sean Casey. Walker three for four today with two RBI singles. The Cards score two runs in the fifth. Tino Martinez with a solo homer. That comes off starter Jose Rijo and Rijo winds up with his fourth win, allows two runs, three strikeouts, no walks in five innings. Now, should Corky Miller be the everyday catcher? Well, check out his presence behind the plate as he snuffs out the suicide squeeze. Great play by Corky. You are out of there, pal. Reds then pull away from the cards in the sixth with five straight hits. Walker with the base hit to right. That makes it four to two. Then Corky with the liner to center field. And Carnacion motoring around the bags as he beats a throw to the plate. That's now five to two. And Brady Clark delivers two more. Reds go on to beat the Cardinals today. Your final score is 7-3. to three. Hey, got to give the Reds a lot of credit. Going after pitching and still talking with closer Jeff Shaw. No deal is imminent. Money seems to be the difference. The ball is in Shaw's court, but at least they're still talking. Junior continues to rehab from his knee injury, but we are told tonight it's doubtful he'll be ready for the brief three-game home series against the Marlins beginning Tuesday. More than likely, Griffey will return to the lineup at Atlanta. That'll be later next week. And we are talking Reds baseball in the spring. Jose Acevedo was 0-2 with an ERA of 13 and a half runs in his career against the Cardinals. Meantime, St. Louis starter Garrett Stevenson came in with an 0-4 record and a 5.45 ERA against the Reds. So naturally, you expect plenty of offense in this one. Let's go to Bush Stadium. Barry Larkin leading off the game with a bang, second homer of the season. Deep to left, stakes the Reds to an early 1-0 lead. But the Reds begin to unravel in the fourth. Watch this. Bases loaded, no outs, the grounder to Larkin, but the relay, not in time to get the speedy carry Robinson at first, we're tied at one all. Next batter, Eli Marrero, and he crushes this one. Three run shot, his second homer of the year, caps the four run inning against Jose Acevedo, who drops the four and two this season. Stevenson on cruise control, gets Sean Casey out in front for the double play ball. He allows just that one run in five innings. In the fifth, Acevedo gets one upstairs to Edmonds. It's off the base of the right field wall for a long single, scores J.D. Drew, make it 5-1. Tino Martinez hits his fifth homer, second in as many days, off Scott Sullivan in the seventh. It's now eight to one. Oh boy, it gets worse, my friend. Placido Polanco adds a two run homer off Sullivan, his first, 10-1 is your final. The Reds' first place lead is down to four games over the Cardinals. Now Stevenson gets his first win in 20 months. Acevedo last four and a third, gives up five runs on six hits. Aaron Boone 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. He's hitting an even 200. 
The two teams will close out the series tomorrow night in St. Louis. Jimmy Haynes gets the start for the Reds. Now, following the game, the Reds option outfielder Ruben Mateo to AAA Louisville and purchase the contract of right-hander Carlos Almanzar. He had 11 saves at Louisville. Evening, everyone. Every time the Reds have needed a big win, they seem to get it. And they needed one tonight against the Cardinals to keep their five-game lead over the Redbirds in the Central. A loss. Lead jumps back down to three. Jimmy Haynes battling Woody Williams tonight at Bush. Haynes has had his struggles, and tonight they began in the first. Tino Martinez getting hot at the Reds' expense this week. Base hit up the middle to score two. Minyan Pujols make a two-zip, and it could have been worse, but it did get worse in the third. Jim Edmonds with a man aboard. Opposite way, no doubt. Four-zip cards, and the Reds' bats were silent. Kearns waving. Uh, Larkin, uh, feel the breeze. Williams was strong, and Haynes was not. Pujols, ah, uh, goodbye. It was 7-zip before the Reds got a sniff. Jason LaRue in the eighth with two on. He's going the other way, and it has barely got enough. Three-run shot just to avoid the shutout, but the Reds' lead shrinks to three games. Back home tomorrow with the Marlins. 7-3 is your final. Reds and Cards the only NL game tonight, but a couple others on the American side.